Hello and welcome to a new video. So recently I promised you that I'd be showing off the exact math workbook that I created and uploaded onto Amazon. So that book is now live on Amazon. It went live on the 10th of July. And in this video, I'm going to be revealing that exact book and listing to you. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Chris. I've been publishing online for the last 10 years through Amazon KDP, and I'm here to share that experience with you. So regardless of whether you're a new subscriber or an existing subscriber, what I've been doing in recent videos is talking about the early education section of Amazon and just how large it is, how much potential it has for publishers and some of the issues that you may face when trying to enter that market. So in an attempt to give the most realistic and transparent look into independent publishing, I wanted to create this book to you to show you the potential of the niche and just in general that publishing in 2022 is as good as ever. So I'll preface this reveal by saying that this book took me around three days to create from start to finish. And just to show you that the book doesn't get buried on Amazon instantly, what I'm going to do is load up incognito mode and search for one of the keyword phrases that I've been targeting for this book. So pairing that with a pricing strategy that I've been using for the book's release, we should be on the first or second pages for these phrases, okay? So keep in mind at the point of recording, this book has only been visible for around three days. And so far we're looking at around five sales from ad campaigns and three organic sales, okay? Okay, so as you can see, we're in incognito mode here and we're just gonna search for one of the keyword phrases that I've been trying to target, which is addition and subtraction workbook, which I think shows up here. So what I'm gonna do, and hopefully I'm still on the first page for this at the time of recording, is to scroll down until I find my book on the first page for this keyword phrase. Okay, so this is the book here. As you can see, it's by Ray Dog Mass. It's an addition and subtraction workbook. And while this might seem like a big deal that someone's showing off the book that they've spent time and money creating, it doesn't actually paint the full picture of what's going on. So I'm gonna be explaining that throughout the video. But for now, let's just take a look at the book here. Okay, so now that you've seen the book, what I want to talk about is why I decided to go after this book and how I managed to have it created in just three days. So reason number one is that I like making sales and I like making money. So when I'm creating books in a new niche, I need to be 100% sure that there's buyer traffic going to it. And of course, with any type of early education workbook like this, these books typically have a ton of traffic going to them and they're always going to be in demand. So that was the first factor that I was looking at here. So the second reason being is that I wanted to create a book in a niche where books are typically very hard to make. So you already know why this is, and that's because the harder a book is to create, the less competition there's gonna be, and most publishers will find it almost impossible to create a book with 10,000 equations in it in just a few days. So even if you had the same resources as me, there's still gonna be much less competition than there would be with books that are created in Canva or books that have been created using Creative Fabrica interiors, for example. So the third reason being is that I want to enter niches where customers will typically come back and look for different versions of similar books. So for example, someone might come onto Amazon looking for a multiplication workbook. They might buy that, they might complete that with their child, and then they might decide from there, actually, now they want to try an addition and subtraction workbook which then they might end up on my listing. Now, after they've ended up on my listing, they might see my other workbooks that I have for sale and they might decide to buy them as well. So the fourth reason being is that I want to target niches where other publishers are likely to slip up, where they're likely to get lazy, target the audience incorrectly and offer a bad customer experience. So this is a niche where, so this is a niche that is quite sensitive. So you need to make sure that you are targeting your audience correctly and you do give the customer what they want. So when you do this, you are likely to stand out much, much better than these other books. And the fifth reason being is that with these type of workbooks, you can actually target a huge variety of people. And that is exactly the reason why I don't mind showing this niche off to you, showing this book off to you, because what you're seeing here, I promise you is just the tip of the iceberg. Okay. So let me expand upon that reason now. Okay, so just to emphasize the potential that this niche has and the amount of variety that you can include in your books, I want you to think of it this way. Imagine every type of equation that you have as its own niche. Imagine every style of equation as its own niche. Imagine every age group that you target as its own niche. Imagine every season that you target is its own niche. And then all of those combined together also create their own niche. So for example, 
if you were creating books that only used sums that involved equations, there is still within that on its own, there is still huge potential. Let me give you an example. So what I mean by each equation, each style of equation is its own niche, is that you can create entire books around just single styles, just single types of equation. So here, for example, you could create an entire book based around singular digit um, equations. Okay, you could then create a book based purely around double digit equations. You could create a book based around triple digit equations. You could create a book based around missing digit equations. You can create books that um, only range from one to 10 or 10 to 20. You can create books that have a lateral style format like this one here. You can create more complex equations for children in older age groups. Then on top of that, you can create different styles for those equations as well. So on top of all of that, you have different seasons that you can target as well. You have the different age groups that you can target within that as well. And this is just one type of equation and that is addition so that doesn't even take into consideration things like subtraction multiplication division step multiplication lattice multiplication long division etc etc okay so imagine what i've just shown you here that one example all of these different types of equations just for addition now imagine trying to mix them with all of the other types of equations that you can create as well and the result of that is potentially unlimited possibilities so just to touch upon the other factor I mentioned above about the books being hard to create. Now, obviously, I'm using software to help me create these books uh, because this is something that you would never get done manually. So I've had a few questions asking which software I've been using to create these books so quickly. So the software that you can see in front of you is called Math Worksheets Generator. It's not been released at the time of recording this video, but its release date is on the 22nd of July. So there will be a promotional period for this software between the 22nd of July and the 25th, where the price will be much cheaper. So what I'm going to be doing on the 20th of July is releasing a full review of this software. And also, if you decide to pick this software up for me, I'm going to be offering an incredible bonus where you get to step into my life of publishing this book from start to finish. So this is going to be the missing steps that you never see on YouTube because no one ever actually shows their books off. So what I did before I published the book, what I did after I published the book, sections dedicated to the marketing of this book, the pricing strategy, etc., etc. And on top of that, I'm going to be giving away a huge list of hand-picked niches and keywords that you can use with the software to give you some inspiration going forward. And I think this makes sense to do as a as the bonus for the software because there's certainly a lot more going on than just putting a book together, fuzzing it up on Amazon and then hoping something happens. And I think this is what is so important about publishing in general is knowing how to target your audience, predicting where you're going to end up on Amazon and then deciding where to go from there to get your book seen by customers. So that bonus will take you through everything in a way that you probably have never seen before. So I'm going to wrap this video up here and remind you that the software plus my bonus is being released on the 22nd of July. The review for this software goes live on the 20th on my channel. So if you're interested in creating these type of books the same way that I've done in this video, make sure that you've subscribed to the channel. Make sure you have all the notification bells done and whatnot to alert you as to when I release the video, because it's going to be a full in-depth review of the software and what it can do for your publishing business. So I will see you very soon on the 20th in that video.